Hello, every Karnaka buddy. We are here aboard the Dreadful Whale. That's a ship that's piloted by Megan Foster, and she's helping us to escape Dunwall, and we're going to head south to Karnaka. So, um, we finished mission one. We've um, accomplished uh, that merciful, which or non-lethal, didn't kill anyone. We've gotten almost all the coins and all the paintings, and we finished all these special actions. Um, now, mission two uh, begins here. Now, notice it says mission two, a strange visit. That's actually not the name of the mission. We're actually in a interlude or there's like an intermission. And by the way, on the lower left, remember to cycle through all of your different um, tips. These are tips and they really help you out. They usually give you as many as 15 tips each time. Ooh. So we are here on the dreadful Am whale now. Uh-huh. Feels Odd. So this is the first time we actually find ourselves in our cabin, but something's wrong and we can't open the door. Now if you look over to your right, you'll what see that place? Where am I? It's the void. And our job is just to cross this floating island, but that's what it is. It's the void. All right, let's go in and at first, it's just a matter of following these little markers. Watching. And here we go. Here's a cutscene, so just uh, listen to it. Empress Emily Caldwin. That's the outsider. Friend of your father's from the bad old days. I never expected us to meet. I watched your mother die at the hands of schemers who wanted your little empire. Then you were rescued by a man in a strange mask. I thought that was the end of the excitement. Mm -hmm. But someone yanked the rug from under your feet. You've lost your throne and your father. By the way, he showed up in the first game. Back. So he's a familiar face if you so played the first one. What are you prepared to do about it? Your Imperial Majesty. Whoa. And are you clever enough to do it without spilling a river of blood? Mm hmm. That's the plan, I right? I asked those questions 15 years ago. This is the moment that changed him. Now it's your turn. Oh, ho. Uh, so here's where you accept the outsider's mark. It's a way of accepting all of the powers. Or you could play the game without any powers. But of course we're going to play with powers. Uh, we're just not going to be using the lethal offensive powers. That's all. Okay. Burns from the inside. I feel like I'm standing at the edge of something. The void. Okay, here we go. So we oh, we start geez. the game. True. Mm -hmm. We start the game with one power, and it's far reach. This is different from Corvo's blink. You know, blink was the um, uh, the starting power in Dishonored, the original one. So Far Reach works almost the same way, but you can't just blink anywhere. You have to latch on to something, see? So Emily's is kind of, you need a surface. So there it is. Incredible. Yes, it is. Uh, it also consumes a little bit of mana, but you get the mana back very quickly. So you can essentially use Far Reach without consuming any mana if you just if you're just a little patient so where do we go now wait a minute so oh duh okay there we go this is how i'm going to save my father and reclaim the throne mm -hmm. yes with all these powers of course okay now we go this way we have to reach down that away it has a certain range see that's the outer edge of the range right there uh -huh. Remember, this was, uh, what's his name, Boyle, from that Boyle building that we were in earlier, and, whoops, yeah, you don't want to be too careless with this, uh -huh. aha, it it's a gift, familiar. Uh -huh. it's actually my mother's heart, isn't that gross, but it's a very useful heart. 
Do you remember? That's Jessamine. My mother. Oh. Mm -hmm. You're here, but you're not here. In my hand, but somewhere else. Only the last of my essence with you for a while. If only I could reach across this great expanse and take you into my arms. Aww. But I have this to offer. My gift and my curse. Summon me to your hand, and I will guide you when I can. Okay, fine. So, the game should have, yeah, see, and it gives you a tutorial, and we can uh, read this whole thing. So, equipping the heart in your left hand helps you to locate bone charms or runes. Those are the things that grant us powers. And the heart is essentially the homing beacon for it. The heart will begin to beat and glow when you're facing a bone charm or room and will beat faster as you get closer. And then the other cool thing is the heart will whisper secrets if you press the right mouse button at a particular location or while looking at a person. So it's actually a lore enhancement too, in addition to being a, uh, um, like a homing beacon. Okay, let's keep going. And now we're going to need to switch back to Far Reach. Or, I mean, what's it called? Yeah, Far Reach. There we go. Uh, and now we can equip the heart and point it at uh, Mr. Boyle and see what he says. No oh, she's just talking about the... Uh... No oh, wait, there's a route. No, we went th we went the wrong way. We totally went the wrong way. Okay, let's get Far Reach back up and running. We have to go up this way. Boy, what a moron. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, and then around here. And over here. And ra Why am I keep running into dead ends here? Yeah, I must be blind or something. I think this is the way, right? Please tell me we're not sidestepping yet again. Yeah, this is the right way. Good grief. Let's speed this up. So by the way... Who is Delilah really? Yeah. How could she? I don't understand. This is pretty cool. They're just like essentially mannequins. But if you wonder who these people are, that's actually someone we're going to meet later. Brianna Ashworth. That's uh, Jindosh. Someone else that's going to come into play. And that's the Duke. Duke Abel. Hey, Duke Abel. And now we get a gift from the outsider. The runes these are our first runes which we can use to buy powers oh hurry up no one quite like Delilah. i watched her pull herself up from blood and filth mm -hmm. until she was in a position to steal from the wisest scholars in the empire hmm. survival and ambition art and magic with a cunning that makes fun and sycophants of those around her all of it leading to what you saw at dunwall tower Right. Delilah's playing the long game. She took all the abuse the world could deal out, and now she has a crown. But I'll let you in on a secret. She's got her eyes set on a much greater prize. We shall usurp her throne, sh shan't we? Okay, so now it's going to plop us back into the dreadful whale, back into our cabin. When I was ten years old, bored. And this is another interstitial kind of a cutscene. Let's just watch it. Now I'm realizing that the world is stranger than I ever imagined. Everything I know has been turned on its head. But I'm dealing with it the best I can. When you look at the great jeweled map at Dunwall Tower, Karnaka is the southernmost port in the Empire. A fat red ruby. There it is. That's how I always thought of it. Karnaka. The city smells like the ocean and strange spices. Up close, it's a tangled story of blood and ambition. Hmm. The birthplace of my father. Megan Foster is a stranger, but their 
There's something that makes me want to trust her, despite her guarded disposition. She got me out of Dunwall, and I need answers. Delilah and the Duke made me look like a murderer, using the crown killer to feature my political adversaries. They took what was mine, and I'm gonna get it back. And now we're really in our cabin, for real this time, aboard the Dreadful Whale. Uh, and I'm sorry this video was really just introducing Mission 2, but um, we're going to continue here in the next video because I have a lot to show you. There's our travel log, there's a letter, and then there's some loot we have to grab before we head out into the main section. All right, so if you like this, episode then subscribe to my channel please and also turn notifications on and then you'll get these videos and a bunch of other things in your inbox including Starfield videos which starts in just six days all right we'll see you next time in Karnaka thanks for watching